Okay, so part two for, for Sunday. Um, like I said, we're getting ready for the holiday season. We're finishing up. We have two more, two more Sundays left. And then we'll take a break. We'll, we'll take a break. So we'll just keep running through, through the set, reviewing. And um, any questions or any review that you need, let me know. Okay, and, uh, and I do want to end with, with the healing meditation. So I want to make that, that a focus as we move into, as we move into the holidays. Okay. So uh, we'll, just run, we'll just run through the form. Okay. And I'm just going to start with my back, my back to you. We have all the others facing the front. Okay, so turn, turn to the front, come. Yeah, you want to step behind me so you can watch, All right, so you can follow. All right, where am I? Let me check. Okay, so feet together, feet together first, yeah, facing this way. Okay, coming up. Yeah, always nice to do just this preparation first. Yeah, and our feet are 45, so you want to sink into one hip. So I'm going to sink into my right and I can turn my left foot 45 and then turn my waist and sink into my left and I can turn my right foot 45 okay and then I can now force me to bend down a little bit okay. just calm your breathing down looking straight ahead and the palms begin to open fingertips extended just pulling from the fingertips, aware of the four shoulder joints, the Ming Mong, sun in the chest, head suspended, legs sinking into the earth. Take one breath to begin. And then commencement, pick up the ball, extend, bring it to the heart and start to sink. Shift to the right. Sink into the right hip. Small step with the left. Shift forward and rolling down. Sink into the left hip. Stepping up with the right. One open and close. Okay, single whip. Right side first. So sink into the left and turn. Free the right toe and tap it in and then out. Shift into the right and press and then open to the left. Palms hide off the face. Single whip. Sink into the left. Dropping the right. Turn the waist left. Free the right. And then three steps to the right. One saw. Remember, palm is height of the face. Remember to sink into the hip to release the other leg. One more time. Spiral back to center to an open and close. And then repeat on the left side. So sink into the right. Sink into the hip to free the left leg and then turn. Small step. Press and open. Palms hide off the face. Follow the right palm. Sink back into the right. Tap the left in and then out. Flowing into one saw, three times to the left. Turn the waist. Relax the shoulders. Sun in the chest, smiling. Four major joints and awareness. And hold, hold and maintain the frame of Pung. Spiral back to center. Okay, I'm just going to adjust for my spacing. Okay, brushing knee, turning to your left. 
So sink on the left, so the right is free and turn. Make sure the right foot can turn and free the left. And keep on turning, small step, brush the left knee. Just hold that, I'm gonna just adjust myself. Okay, right foot follow step. Release the right palm a little. Okay. And then step back, right foot step back. Left hand starts to rise and turn the waist. Free the left toe. Left heel, twist step to the left, right palm under and parry. Stepping up with the right heel, turn, twist step to the right, parry. Step up with the left. Left hand covers across the body, shifting up. Both hands holding the fist, right foot follow step. Squeeze and then step back and open and release, rolling back. Free the left, sink into the right hip. Step up, double palms pressing or pushing the mountain. Follow step, turn back to the front, right foot turns and shift right and turn the waist so the left foot can turn. One open and close. And repeat on the right side. So shift a little to the right, free the left and turn, turn the left foot, sink into the left hip, to free the right, turn, step, brush the right knee. Left foot follow steps, left foot back, palms start turning center, turn the waist to the left, right foot free, pull people, right foot heel, Twist step, come forward, left palm rising, left foot out, twist step left, right palm under the elbow, right palm coming up, right foot step up and cover, under the left, step up and punch with the left, left foot follow step, left foot back, open, turn, Step up, left foot follow step. Turn to the front and turn. Open and close. Okay, let's suggest a little. Okay. Brushing the knee, yeah. brushing the knee on the right side and leisurely tying the cope. Okay. So to shift a little to the right again, turn to the right, turn the left foot, step up, brush the knee. Okay, left foot follow step, left foot back, move away from the left hand, left hand opens up, right hand circles up, right foot free. Turn the waist to the left, palms face front, wipe down in the center. Drop the shoulders and elbows. Right palm circle up and lift. Step up. Extend the palm a little bit. Left foot follow step. Heel down. Left foot back. Allow the right hand to open. The right foot back, rocking back on the heel. Spiral to the right. Drop the palm. Step up, left foot follow step. Turn to the front, swivel the left to the front, shift to the left, turn the right. One open and close. Same thing on the left side. So shift a little to the left so the right foot can turn. Brushing the left knee. Left foot free and turn. Brush the left knee, right foot follow step. Right hand up, left hand down, right foot follow step. You down, right foot back. Turn into the right, left hand circles up. Straight to the front, wipe down, lift, step up left. Extend the palm out, right foot follow step, heel down. 
right foot back. Open the left arm. Pick up the left toe and spiral left. Drop the shoulder and elbow. Double palm. Right foot follow step. Turn back to the front. Shift right and adjust the left. Fist under elbow. Turn to your right. Slide the left foot back a little. Open. Shift to the left while dropping the right hand. Turn the waist to the left so the right foot turns. Sit on the right. Free the left. Fist on the elbow. Okay, we just did a quarter turn to the left. Small step up with the left. Right foot follows. The right foot follow steps. Sit on the right. Open the right palm. Your pulse monkey. Turn the right foot. Okay, turn the right foot in, left foot free. We're going to turn quarter step to the left. So I'm facing your back. Yeah, brush knee, right foot follow steps. Sit back on the right. Left hand rises. Left toe rises. Turn to your right all the way around. All the way, as much as you can. Free the right. Finish the turn and step. Back to facing the front. Left foot follow step. Sit on the left, right foot free. Right hand up, turn the waist to the left so the right foot turns. Making a quarter turn to the left. To the left. Yeah. Left foot follow steps, heel down. Step back, left hand circles up, turn the waist, left foot in. Toe, wipe down, finger connects the wrist, lift, step. Right foot follow steps, heel down, step back and open, open the left arm and spiral, double palm, right foot follow step, hands close, hands close to you, turn back to the front. One, open and close. Okay, last time. Turn to the left, slide the right leg back. Open, shift to the right, drop the left hand. Shift all the way to the right foot. Turn the waist to the right. Turn the left foot. Making a quarter turn to your right. Left fist on the right elbow. Step up right. Short punch, left foot, follow step. Okay. Turn the left foot, turn your waist to the right, left hand open, sit back on the left. Left hand rising, repulse monkey, right hand dropping, right foot free, and then facing your back. Quarter turn to your right. Brush the right knee. Okay. Okay. Left foot follow step. Left foot, left foot up a little bit. Sit back on the left. Pick up the right turn. <coughs> Half turn to your left. <coughs> Free the left foot. Brush the left knee. Right foot follow. Sit back on the right. Pick up the left. Quarter turn to your right. Brush the right knee. Lift the sternum. Follow step. Leisurely tying the coat. Step back. Right hand circles up. Turn the waist to the left. Free the right. Wipe down. Turn the waist back to the front. Lift. Drop the elbows. Tuck the elbows in. Step up. Left foot follow step. Heel down. Left foot back. Rock back on the right heel. Spiral. Left foot follow step. Turn back to the left, to the front. Sit on the left, turn the right foot. Closing.
So let me face you and just review the um, front. Yeah, turn to the front. So just the opening, so just facing the opening. And so what I was doing is uh, for the preparation, I had my feet together, just gathering. Now shifting to my right and then opening up my left foot and then shifting to my left and opening up my right foot. So they had to bend down a little. And commencement, right about here, you sink a little bit more. And I'm shifting to my right, the opposite from you, so I could step up with my left. And start rolling the ball out and down, all the way down, right here. I'm sinking into my left, I can pick up my right, moving into my hands. Not too far and return to an open and close. There. So from the side, and so just kind of looking at that timing, right, sinking and sinking into my right. So my left foot, really want my left foot to be free from here so I can just smoothly flow into one. Right, and turn my waist a little bit so I can sink into my left hip Sing all the way down, on my hand all the way down. So my hand is at the bottom of the circle, that's when I sink, right? And my right foot is free. My right foot is free, I'm moving in, right? moving into my hands, and close to my body, and coming out. Right? So. No farther than that. So if I break, if I break down the movement, if, um, if I break down the movement as I'm stepping, right, I talk about sinking at the same time, but we have to sink into here, right, to be able to pick up the back leg. So as I sink into here, really this last sink, that's when I want the bottom. Right? And as I'm sinking into here, my body is actually coming forward a little bit to free the, it's freeing up the right foot. So I'm actually starting to move into, into my hands, right? I'm, I'm moving into my hands at that point. But when we break down the movement, you don't, you don't see that, that flow. When we break down the movement, it's shift, drop the hands all the way down, sink into the left. But you see, when I sink into the left, this is coming forward even though the knee stays back. Right, and then I can pick up the right from there. And right here, hold that frame of pong, right? Hold into here, and then you can't go past here. You just feel like, oh, right there, that's it. Right? And we don't need to extend out here. You just, just where you feel everything connect, and then come back, and that's enough. So if I face 45, and I just try to, try to flow that, that movement, Sinking, I'm already shifting, sinking into my right, my left leg is already free. Sinking into my left tip, right? my right leg is already free. At this point, I'm fully sinking into both hips from there. So the timing will come and you have to experiment with it. And as you flow the movement, you start to, it'll change a little bit, right? It'll change. Right? You don't have to be so strict, but for the learning purpose, you want to just break the movement down so you can see what's happening into there. Um, oh, so the follow steps. Um, Dr. Lam does something that, he, that he calls Dan, Dantian breathing or Dantian breathing. Um, I've never confirmed with him if he's learned it like that. I believe he took a, from when I listened to him, he took a certain kind of breathing, Qigong breathing, and he modified it a little bit for the program. 
but the, the Tantian breathing, Tantian is focused on here, right? So the Tantian breathing is as you breathe in the, the root, the perineum under, under, underneath, right? You gently squeeze that and you're compressing the chi up so it rises. And he'll talk about, just think about it. It's so subtle. You just think about it and you feel it activating. It's, it's like the movements we're doing. You just think about it, you feel it activating. So one of the times to do the Tantin breathing consciously is on the follow steps. So as you're coming up and you follow step, when the heel touches down, right when the heel touches down, you just imagine pulling the perineum up a little. Right? Everything relaxes and sinks down with the breath as you're exhaling, but the perineum pulls up. And just take the time to finish that Tantin breathing and then you do the next move. So every time you do a follow step, right where that heel comes down, you sink. As you're sinking into the hip and releasing the, the breath, you do the Tantin breathing. Just gently squeeze the perineum and relax. And think of the Ming Mong point, of course, but squeeze the Ming right? And then you do the next movement and such. But Every time you do that follow step, that's that heel down. As soon as that heel down right here, sinking, the heel is coming down, you do the Tantin breathing, and then you do the next step, coming back. So you can look at all those points that have the follow step anytime the heel drops. So the only time the heel doesn't drop is when, um, Oh, let's see, if, if, if this is the front, right? So the only time the heel doesn't drop is if we're turning back to the front, right? So I step up, I, I keep my heel up and I turn. So, so this leg turns, my right leg turns, comes down, and then I shift, and then the other leg adjusts. Okay? And we do that, oh, in the set, we have four of those, right? Because every time we finish the leisurely tying the coat, turning back to our front. Okay. But again, that, that Tantian breathing or Tantian breathing, right, right here, the follow step, heel down, sink, and gently squeeze the perineum up. That's the Tantian breathing. And then do the next step. Right. And then heel down. Just take that time. Just do that Tantian breathing. So it's an energetic breath. Um, in some energetic breathing, you imagine that you imagine like a, you could imagine like a column of white rising all the way up through the spine, through the center, to the top of the head, and then let it go. Yeah, come there. So you can practice the Tantin. You could practice Tantin breathing just standing. Take a few breaths and then gently squeeze the perineum while you relax the legs and sink into the ground and root. And then let it go. Okay, and do regular breathing and then do, do it. So when you do this type of energetic breathing, it's, it's very powerful. It's very subtle and powerful. So you don't need to, you don't want to compress too much at one time. You have to take a break. Take a break. So take a few natural breaths and then do it again. Okay. Um, lo looking at that Rashni and the repulse monkey. So again, it's a nice drill to do. Just the brush knee. So the brush knee. And then repulse monkey. So I can do it as a walking drill. I can walk in place. can do it with or without the follow steps. Right. I could just keep advancing up, up. And this simulates more the young style. When the young style has this walking with the brush knee. You could even see if you can do it backwards and right. walking back. I 
when you walk back, that's where you, the repulse monkey comes out. Yeah, a little bit more. It's a little bit hidden in there um, from there. But in the sunset, right, this is repulse monkey. So you can angle out a little bit from, from almost straight. You really don't want it quite straight. It's always a little angle and the hand turns a little bit. There's a little bit of rotation. So, yeah. So when I'm up, it's not straight up and down, right? It's outwards, um, height of the face, right? Second finger, second line, eye level. And it actually turns a little bit, right? So the angle of the, angle of the hand is more, is closer to a 45 degree on that plane this way. So not, not straight, not straight like this. There's a little rotation from there, yeah? And it just washes. As one hand comes up, the, the other hand falls. So if, um, bond, come. So you, just so you can see the, the movement, right? If she's straight, and she, and just hold that stiff. Yeah. Just the arm, relax the legs, hold her stiff. Yeah, it, you can see it's coming, it's pulling her to the outside. Yeah. So it just rises. And if I did a two man, relax, relax, relax. It would just, it would just slide against each other. No, just slide against each other. Just relax, 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 just slide. Yeah, so just slide against each other from here. Okay. Just slide against each other. Yeah. So you can see we're moving back and forth because the hand is coming from the center to a 45 degree yeah. from here. Okay. So she just raises her hand. She just raises the hand, open hand, and then it folds in. Yeah. It just raises the hand and it just folds in from there. It just raises the hand and the elbow, right? It just fold, folds in. So she just raises the hand and it just folds in. Yeah. If she turns her body, so turn to your left, turn, 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 turn. Yeah, yeah. And you move away to the side. You don't have to push me to the side. You just let it fold in, but turn your waist. Turn your waist, turn, 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 there, there. Yeah, it's real soft, yeah. So just fold and just turn, yeah? So don't push me here, let it, yeah, just feel, yeah. There, that's all it is. So she just push, feeling right over here. So when you're doing this, you can, like I said, you can brush your own hand. And yeah, just let your own hand brush, gently brush. A lot of times there's a little separation, but for learning, for learning, we actually do drills where it touches, where it actually touches, right? And that develops the sensitivity and it creates a little, a little frequency, a little vibration for the healing also, right? And you can see how the palm washes down and then comes through from here. Yeah, so don't be afraid to just let it glance. If I'm, if I'm doing for martial arts for application, right, then it has to touch if I'm doing that kind of physical application, right? So if you practice where it's lightly touches, okay, your hand is lightly touching the other hand, you're getting used to that sensation, that light sensation from there. Okay. All right, so let's, let's just end with the healing meditation. And then we'll, we'll do the heal, we'll do a, just a few repetitions of the healing meditation and let's see. And then we'll um, go in with the bell meditation, if normal. Yes. <coughs> okay, Miss Chin. Okay, so we start with the hands together. Just relax right in front of the sternum, in front of the heart. Relax the stance, joints are unlocked. Lightly close your eyes, calm your breathing down. And take a deep breath, three deep breaths in and out. Let it all out. Another deep breath in. Let it all out. 
third deep breath in. Let it all out. Breathe right. Breathe normally. Slowly open your eyes, open your palms, and let your hands, your forearms drop, extend, and then reaching. Lifting first one, just like washing your face, but turning your palms and sink. Press with your shoulder blades. Start dropping your, your palms and then spiral. Number four. Remember, spinning from the heart, sun in the chest. Transition. Okay, same side as me, your right hand over your left palm. Swivel in front of your heart, your right elbow up, same side as me, I'm mirroring you. And switch your left elbow up, your right palm on your sternum. Open the rib cage. Your right palm comes up. Left palm over. Okay, turn to your left and then your right. Drag your hands with you. Your right palm comes up, transition. Okay, turn left and right. Switching hands, right palm up. I'm sorry, we end on this side here. Yeah. Your left hand comes in, your left hand comes in, and then three times. First time, keep the shoulders and elbows down. fingertips and palms take at least one breath and then repeat remember you can project this to anybody you want and even if they're not there with you Project it to them or imagine they're doing it with you. Okay, your right palm on top. Remember. I'm mirroring you, so same side as me. Your right elbow up first, left palm on the sternum. And switch left elbow up, right palm on the sternum. Up, yeah, same side as me. Turn right then left. Drag the hands with you. Yeah. Right hand up. Yeah. Left hand up. Your left hand inside three times.
Come back to center, fingertips first and then palms one more time. Just take your time, smile, relax. And gently close your eyes and look straight ahead. Transition your right palm, fold in over your heart, your right elbow up first, then left. Switch. And right palm up. Turn to your right and then your left. Drag your hands with you. Right palm up, holding the ball. Left palm up, holding the ball. Hold that frame of pong. Think of your Ming Mong point. Left hand inside to transition and last set three times. Fingers together. You can sit back down and then we'll end with the bell meditation. Slowly open your eyes, rub your hands together, yeah, loosen up your legs. Warm up your eyes. Slowly brush your scalp, send it to outside, front to back. Unroll your ears. Just gently unrolling your ears top to side to bottom and pull the muscles away from your from your neck just your fingertips elbows down arms down use the weight of your arms
Okay, just your fingertips massaging all your face muscles. You can go up from the bridge of your nose, the top of your cheeks. Just small circles, small pressing. Okay, and then cupping shoulders outside, top, inside, bottom. Okay, in general, three times. And you can do the rib cage also if you want. Okay, loosen up. Just gentle compression. Okay, right hand, left hand. <laughs> All right, so two more, two more Sundays, two more Sundays, and then we'll take a break.